The final thing that I want to say is about cooperation in politics, because, as I said, we've done that with with political parties throughout the be from the beginning of, of devolution onwards, from Robin Harper's presence on the political stage in 1999 as the first Green MSP, right through our high points and our low points, we've always found ways to work together with others. But that goes beyond party politics as well. It goes beyond party politics, particularly in the current session where we've had the opportunity to form what we lovingly call the Grindies, the Green Independent Group of MSPs in the Scottish Parliament. Uh, I already deeply miss Margot MacDonald, not just her distinctive presence, but her friendship uh, in the Scottish Parliament. Uh, and I am privileged to be taking forward legislation on her behalf uh, on assisted suicide. But beyond Margot, <laughs> beyond, beyond Margot, we've had the privilege as well of working with uh, the most recent independent, John Wilson, as well as with two who left the SNP over the issue of NATO, Jean Urquhart and John Finney. John, in particular, has been uh, an advocate of many of the same issues that I worked on, actually, in, this, in the second session when I was given the justice portfolio. Some of the civil liberties issues, some of the issues around firearms just recently that he's uh, very uh, assiduously pushed the Scottish Government on and pushed Police Scotland on, and now we've seen a reversal of the decision to routinely deploy firearms on the streets of Scotland. <laughs> and so... For that reason, and for many others, I'm excited and delighted to be able to tell you that the most recent recruit to the Scottish Green Party is John Finney, MSP. John, come on. Um, thank you very much. I was checking if you were going to get a mat in var, a fesker ma, you're getting a mat in var. Um, the good news is, is this isn't a speech. Um, Gavin thought I should bring this up. <clears throat> it's my membership form. <laughs> I have to say the cheque is as yet uncashed and um, the first bit of gratitude that I have is not just for the welcome but also for accepting the membership because it was in my famously illiterate and illegible <laughs> handwriting so um, thank you for that. <coughs> Can I say that it's, it's been a real privilege to have been involved most recently in the Dependence Referendum campaign where I've had the opportunity to speak with my colleagues at many, many meetings. I like the green language. It's become apparent that that's the language that I have liked all along. Um, if, if you know uh, how Jean and I have conducted ourselves since we left the party of government, it is to work consensually with people. On the firearms issues, the first thing I did was to secure a meeting with the Police, Police Scotland and invite all of my colleagues. That's the way we need to do things. I have to say that's the approach, it's the green approach. There's challenges we face and they were highlighted and sadly I don't think we're going to be addressed so efficiently as a result of the result of the independence referendum. I agree with Patrick. We need to move on, we need to build bridges. This is not about name calling, this is not about badging, this is about trying to make the place more equal. The United Kingdom is one of the most unequal countries in the world. And there's an opportunity, I think, adopting the green approach, a radical approach. And I like the word radical, I don't think people should be offended with it. It's, it's what's uh, invigorated many communities. I can think in the town of Inverness there, where a community where the turnout was 30%, targeted by the radical independence movement, people from all parties, including the Green, Greens, an 80% turnout. That's what we must hold on to. So the opportunities are there. And the language of the Green Party is the language of social justice, environmental justice, and I'm proud to be associated with it, and thank you for accepting my membership. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
I'm sure that in a strictly non-violent way, I'm going to have my knuckles wrapped because I've overrun a little bit. Uh, fringes, discussion, debate, creativity. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs>